Rastafari, so, yeah, man, in your own eyes, they are coming. Anthony B. You understand me? Jamison and Papa Wastick. And I have Papa Wastick on the line all the way from the United States of America. Hello, Papa Wastick. Blessed King Lagazi. Why are you a big man? Well, I don't know how it's last year. The first, everything blessed, everything good. I just stand for life, you know. We just arrive for the next morning, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Papa Wastick, how are you feeling inside the belly of the beast? Well, I tell you, the beast has to get slow, you know. Mm. Uh, one of our mission is to be here and repatriate and re-educate our people and let them know that Mama is calling, you know, Zion is calling, Africa is calling. So, you know, at them work there with day on right here, you know, the belly of the beast. I just came from Jamaica to do one or two works, um, shows around right now, and you know, everything I pop up and everything nice, you know. All right, um, Papa Wastig, how was the feeling in Jamaica? You've been to, what exactly happened in Jamaica? Well, nice vibes in Jamaica, you know, nice vibes, you don't know, sir. As an African, you know, uh, in Jamaica, it's like Africa to Africa, you know. Remember mm. that Jamaica is a little Africa where they take our people and take them into the uh, uh, shackles and chain and into them bondage. So when I was in Jamaica, it's just like a prophecy for feel, you know. It's like me going to my people and you don't know that Jamaican and the whole River Nile crew and the whole, all the artists, them, you know, we all, we all come together and make sure that, you know, job work has been done. So, and that we, you know, we are deal with that. All right, all right. Um, Papa Wastig, this particular year, Ghana will be 55 years and Jamaica is going to be 50 years um, this particular year. And I give thanks that you're going to yeah. Jamaica. And at the end of the day, you are coming to Ghana alongside your virgins for this charity concert. Tell us, how, how is the feel in the U.S. and in Jamaica? These two artists coming alongside you, how is the feel? Well, the feeling is amazing. The whole world, the whole world, not even just America and, and Jamaica alone. It's the whole world responding to this whole vibe, you know, because it's like a prophecy for fair, like I said. Long time they don't want to see that connection, you know? Mm -hmm. And you don't know that Africa and Jamaica is one. So the world want that. You know, we have a whole part mission to come and want the world to know that it's not the end. You know, we have album, Papa Wastik and Jamaican album that will be coming after my album and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's a bigger vibration I go on the world. And the whole world want to be in Ghana for the All 55th right. Independence Day. Everybody say give thanks to Ricky of Moscow one because this is a thing that nobody, nobody, when I say nobody, it hasn't happened in Ghana before, having two inter international artists with Ghana international artists were explosion. So we want the people uh, them uh, to know that they have to be surprised. getting themselves together right now because we are on the way coming live and colored, you see? All right. Um, Papa Wastik. You, you, yeah. You'll be flying down to home, so I would like you to give us an a cappella of, you know, this is your song, Home. 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 <laughs> yeah, my home sweet home. Well, if I have wings like a bird, I'll fly away home, home sweet home. No matter where I go, I fall If I have wings like a bird, I'll fly away home. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, Donna, when you want when you want to hear the more, you have to come to Elwax Sports Stadium because right now the time is limited on the phone. We have everything packed for everybody. Just make sure that you be there at Elwax Sports Stadium to catch the whole full version of the vibe, you know? Papa was stick. Mm. Yeah man, I just want to put you in a note that I have Pake and Ricky with me. Over here in the studios right now, and them say, may I have to tell you, said them have a surprise for you. Yes, Papa. What? What go on? Well, big up, big up, big up, you don't know, sir. All right, because just want to inform you. One, because it's a pack, pack here, you don't know, sir. A real soldier, them who are bringing, you know, the vibes, because this is a charity. You know what I mean? Enough time artists want to take things and don't want to do nothing for the people. Promoters want to take money and don't want to do nothing for the people. But these are the people who are coming to do something for the nation of Ghana. 
by putting this together so that we can organize and generate and raise some funds to go support underprivileged children within the whole Ghana. So big up to Moscow for one production and the whole crew, you know, Parker and the whole Mastic. Yeah, uh, Papa, Papa I, I was just going to tell you that we have brethren from Southern Africa coming to perform. We have a one people band, Lucky Dubis band, and the Oyaba band also coming. So it's wow. like South wow. Africa wow. meet West Africa meet represent. the Caribbean. Yeah, man, so. Explosion. So, Papa Wastik, before, yes. before I leave you, because you just rise from bed and you don't, I don't want to disturb you too much. Before I leave you, um, your final words to Ghanaians and asking when you are coming to, when exactly are you touching down? Well, we will be in Ghana before even that day. No? We will be in Ghana around the 26th and 27th. But we can't just be here and let everything go. We have to be there and let the people of Ghana to know that it's really coming live and colored. We will be on the TVs, on the radios, on the world media. We'll have a press conference and everything in Ghana and meet with the people and let them know that the thing is coming on live. It's not just a talk. Come here, so some people think it's a talk. But it's not just a task. It's a whole mission and big things are coming in Ghana. So we'll be here even a week before the whole thing and just have the preparation and go to the, you know, charity places and meet the youth them and make sure that we have everything in line, you know? All right, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Papa Wastik, thanks a lot for joining us all the way from the United States of America on the show Dub Legend wow, on Hit TV on Motor TV. TV. Yes, when I check you what is going on in the world, I see it clear. See the signs. I be a war. Confusion in the world. Where you? See the signs. When I'm checking out the world, I be a war and confusion. Ah, yo, God, I don't know it's original Papa Wastik. I said I'm coming live, Anthony B. and Jack Mason. Conrad in Ghana. So you better get yourself ready. Get the ticket and prepare and make sure that it's going to be live and explosive. Yeah, hear me now? Rastafara, thanks a lot for talking to us on the show. That legend. I, 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 Bless. And Ghana, don't go nowhere, sir. Jamaican is on the line, and you go and talk to Jamaican after you talk to me, too. You see me? <laughs> you don't know, my lad. So, yeah, man. Ask, All right, that, that. Yeah, man, respect. The only man who like him to last the eye. Rastafari. Right. You don't know. Yeah, man. Uh, that was Papa Wastik talking to us on the line all the way from the United States of America. And in what I will be talking to Jamison as well. But before we talk to Jamison, let's take the video of uh, Papa Wastik, Home Sweet Home.
No matter where I go, I'm forward. You don't know what Papa was talking to us all the way from the United States of America. And they don't know the man just rise from bed, early morning vibration. We just disturb the man on the phone, talking to him about he coming to Ghana alongside the two international artists, Anthony B and Jack Mason. Yeah, we're we'll talking to Jack Mason on the line. My director is doing all his maximum best for me to get him on the line and talk to him and ask him a few questions about his coming to Ghana. Yes, um, into the studios once again. Um, why all this concept? You know, Moscow One Promotions, why this concept of bringing big international artists mm. into the country and not for any people but for charity show? Okay. Um, you know, uh, Ghana independence, mm -hmm. like um, Kwame Kuma said, is linked with the total liberation of Africa. Whole African continent. And when we talk about Africa, we're not talking uh, of the body continent of Africa. We're talking about the black world. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't think Kuma meant continental Africa alone, mm -hmm. because even at that time in the U.S., the blacks weren't liberated. You understand? Yeah. So uh, even from the birth of independence, we had Lord Kitchener, who came from Jamaica to perform, even made a song, Ghana is the name, and all that, which has gone into history. So there's always been this link that has been established between Mother Ghana and its diaspora. You know, like Papa Wastik was saying, mm -hmm. Jamaica is a small Africa. Mm -hmm. But I always say Jamaica is a small Ghana. Because there's so <laughs> many yeah, there, there's so many Ghanaian traditions in Jamaica, even Dokuno and stuff yes, like that, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's that link, and um, we always try to celebrate in that true spirit of independence by involving the Black diaspora. This time we have a very unique opportunity. It's not just people coming from the Caribbean, but we have the one people band from South Africa. Uh, newly liberated African territory mm -hmm. and the Oyaba band. Mm -hmm. The Black One People band is Loki Dube's band, the late Loki Dube's band. Mm -hmm. And they're coming all the way to come join us to celebrate. Now, the concept is GH Arise, Ghana Arise. Mm -hmm. Ghana Arise simply means that we should all put ourselves towards national development, helping to develop this country because it cannot be done by the politicians. They have proved themselves incapable. You know, so it has to come from, from us. We have to help ourselves. We can't always go begging, begging cap in hand from donor countries to come and assist us to do this and do that. So we have to start doing these things for ourselves. So GH Arise is a concept that every time we do an Independence Day concert or an Independence Eve concert, we'll raise funds for a chosen charity. This year, it's for the Asinazi children in the central region, you know, who are going to be beneficiaries of um, the All charity. Right, um, Next year is going to be okay, probably somebody yeah. in the Upper East. You must hold on. I have Jamaican all the way yes, from Jasmine. Kingston, Jamaica, on the line. I have to go on the line and talk to the man.